right. Spike said it was super important to find this bounty man. Can't mess it up. One's tricky. <laughs> Not tricky enough, silly, silly. Okay, okay, it's done, done. <sighs> My name is Edward Wong Hao Pepulu Turuski IV, and today I'm gonna talk you through how to make my hair. Kinda weird, but whatever. So you're going to take this doodly bob from the wig shop, Epic Cosplay Wigs, and spin it on this heady dude bro to show it off. Its name is Aries Copper Red. The bounty for this imposter hair is $32.99. Now you're going to put Aries on your noggin and start snip snipping. It doesn't matter how nice you do it. When I cut my own hair, I don't even have a mirror. <laughs> but I do like to have bangs and keep a very fluffy pixie stick haircut. As you do it, keep it on the longer side because if you mess up, it's easier to snippy snip than cry because you made a mess of your wig. Okay! Either electrocute yourself by accident like I do all the time, or use a heat stickeroo to heat up your fake fibers and curl them to let them cool in your hand to create my radical curls. Get tired of that and trim up the wig on the fake head you found in Jet's room. Then go back and pretend electrocuting it. Cut, cut the wig, wig again, again. Fake electrocution! Snippy again and also electrocute. Alternate as the fake Ed hair takes a good fake Ed shape that you like best. Put it on your real head and see how it's coming along. See that it also needs more work. Trimmy trim to your face face better. Stabby stab the fake hair and the fake head so you can turn it upside down and spray more canned hair on it. Be sure to let the canned hair dry. Trim trim. And it's time to curly curl the fake fake hair. Be sure to use the hot stick, curl it down, and cut the hair as you go to keep the shape you want. But there's no real shape. It's okay. Be nice to it for a little bit and back comb it like my father person did back in the 80s time then brush it back out to look like a disco person from the 70s time. Stick it back on your head for further styling. Be sure the bangs fit your forehead and frame your face thing. Now that you've done that, put your goggles on to be sure they fit, and you're done! Now it's time to look like Edward. Hi hi! So for some reason, my face looks a bit like a cryptid YouTube cosplayer. To fix that, I stole Faye Faye Smell Good Face Magic Bag. To start, I used some Smell Good Tatcha stuff to moisturize my skinny skin. Then I take the other skin thingy called primer and rub it into my face. Feifei uses some from a singer person called Rihanna. Next, take the face foundation liquid and put it on a brushy do and rub it on your face real good. Ed concentrates around Ed's under eyes, then works outwards. 
birthday says Ed's under eyes look bad. So Ed lathers on the concealer to hide imperfections. Faye also says to let it dry dry before putting on more face gunk. Heavily apply magic Rihanna powder under eyes to make them not look gross. On top of Ed's eyes is a good idea too. Time for face powder! Ed likes to put it all over Ed's face. It smells like Faye Faye. Now using the shadow of eyes, Ed puts on a light color on Ed's eyelid to cover bad veins. With the warm shadow of eye, Ed colors Ed's bottom eyelid and up into the socket. Ed keeps with the warm colors because Ed likes those. Ed's also going for a rounded shape with some pointy stuff too. Shade outside eye more with warm blending color. Blend blend. Blend blend more with light warm tone. This evens out the shadow realm on Ed's eyelids to look natural. Now Ed draws on Ed's eye shape with a dark color eyeshadow. Ed makes it look rounded but with a sort of point on the outside parts. This is what Ed does, but if something works better for you, then do that! Do bottom lid too. Blend Ed's bottom eye thing out of focus because why not? Contour outside eye a little more. Eye goop time! Put it on Ed's eyelashes. Focus on outside eye again, but be careful. Fill them in! Ed contours face because Fei Fei says it looks good for the soul and chicken soup. Ed focuses on nose and jaw to make Ed's face look as young as possible so Ed can get away with childish behavior. Contour temples too, makes the eyes look round. With a bobby pin, add some freckly doos because Ed has those today. Highlight nose tip, under eyes, also upper cheekbones. Blush, blush, cheeky cheeks. Forehead too. Chin, jaws. Add more freckles in different colors to make Ed's look more real. Heidi, hide your cupid's bow. Fixie, fix your hair. All right, you're done. Hey guys, hope that Radical Edward impression wasn't too crazy. Thanks so much for watching this Radical Edward hair and makeup tutorial. As some of you may know, I'm a huge Bebop fan and cannot thank our sponsor Epic Cosplay Wigs enough for providing this wig to let my Bebop dreams come true. I'd also like to thank my amazing friends for helping me bring Ed to life. Thank you so much to my husbando, JK for Reels at Kuma Kuma Cosplay for filming. He's my good friend and super talented cosplayer, filmmaker, and just great guy, so please show him some love. Also, huge thanks to my co star Peach, who was Ayn, and her hottie mama, Spooky Fox, for letting me work with such a precious bean. She was super well behaved, like, I love this dog so much. Shout out to my girlfriend Rachel, aka Spotty, for helping film and light the showcase sketch, and huge thanks to my hilariously over-talented friend, Haley Rudolph, for letting us turn your garage into the bebop. I literally couldn't have done this without them, Epic Cosplay or you guys, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and showing your support on Patreon. Thanks to the Gucci Gremlins, we were able to try out more live-action anime sketches shorts, etc. So to check that out, head over to my Patreon in the link below. Also, please check out my amazing friends. They're so super talented. All of their information is down below too. You won't regret it. If you use this tutorial, please tag me on whatever social media you use. And until then, see you next time, Space Cowboy.